Hi, and welcome to a demonstration of EasyML. EasyML by Datanomers is the first machine learning platform to predict outcomes from textual data. By using EasyML, no coding is required on your part. In order to do the type of machine learning that EasyML performs for you, you would have to have A, a proficient understanding of data science, and B, know how to code uh, the several dozen lines of programming that's required. EasyML lets you bypass all of that. The entire pipeline from start to finish takes the burden off of the user for data cleansing, model building, optimizing parameters, and finding the best model. EasyML makes machine learning accessible to literally everyone. EasyML also takes advantage of the world-class NLP technology that is Amelia, developed by the parent company of data nomers, IPsoft. Now, we'll walk you through just how easy it is to use EasyML to analyze your data. First, you'll select your mode. Selecting accelerated mode makes it as easy as possible with just a few choices to make until you get your results. Detailed mode lets you select more options and customize your data set and data analysis model more if you understand data science a little bit better or you have specific qualifications that you would like to, to see EasyML perform. Today, I'll be showing you accelerated mode. So the first thing we want to do is upload our training data. And this is actually what our data looks like. So right here, we see the date and the average price of an avocado on that date in US dollars, the total volume of avocados sold that day, the number of um, the code for the avocados, the number of avocados sold under each code, the total bags of avocado sold, subcategorized into the small, large, and x-large bags, the type of avocado, whether it's conventional or organic, the year that the avocado was sold in, and the region that the avocado was sold in. Now we'll go ahead and upload the data and watch as the accelerated mode of EasyML optimizes all of our choices for us. So it's just selecting the best option from every single one of these uh, more complicated data science um, selections. Using EasyML, we can predict what the average price for avocados will be in the future, which determines the amount of avocados that will be sold in the future as well. So out of all the columns in our data set, we'll go ahead and select average price as the variable that we are trying to predict. And then accelerated mode takes care of all the hard work for us. Um, total number of rows is just around 1,000. And now EasyML will help us to build a machine learning model. So as we want to predict the avocado prices, we're going to make a predictive model. And then EasyML is just doing its magic right here. And right now, since I only have about a thousand rows, um, it wouldn't take that long to calculate or build a model. So it goes through a lot of features here. Um, it will go through uh, feature engineering and trying um, a multitude of different models from neural nets to random forest. Um, to a whole other slew. And then it will end up calculating which one has the highest R squared value, the highest accuracy, and the lowest um, RMSC, the root mean squared error. So highest accuracy, lowest error. So right here we see that EasyMail has actually calculated eight models for us and sorted it by uh, sorted descending by R squared value and ascending by RMSE value. Random forest seems to be the most accurate model with a pretty high R squared value of 0.83 and a pretty low RMSE of 0.17. So we'll go ahead and choose random forest. So here the prediction is ready. And then we'll just go ahead and see how accurate it was. So we see that the average price is right here, um, 1.5. So 
Some of these were completely accurate, but very, very close, mostly. And let's go ahead and try and understand the predictions. So let's see. Um, we know that this one in Jacksonville was completely accurate. So let's see why it chose the way it did. So the price, it seems that the most influential factor was that it was organic. That makes sense because we know that organic produce is generally more expensive. Um, we know how much, how many large bags they sold. That was also another important local predictor. And we see that the 4225 type of avocados um, sold this many, and then the 4046 type of avocados sold this many. And that was the importance of the variables. We can go see maybe why this one was so expensive. Why was this 260? Once again, we see that the most important thing was that it was organic. Um, and organic produce does play a huge factor on price. And then the number of small bags sold and the number of this type of avocado sold were also important predictors. All right, and now we understand. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the demo of EasyML and you see just how simple it is to use. Um, thank you so much for watching.